Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode number 698. We're getting close to 700 episodes of the show. By the time this day ends, I will reach 700 episodes. We've got one episode to do at the Wellness Festival. I'll be going there shortly after I get these two episodes uploaded while I'm waiting for those episodes to get uploaded. I'm doing my laundry. I figured to get those out of the way. So I won't be behind anything when I come home. So for the Wellness City Festival, that's why I'm sticking around for a bit. I'm not I'm not going to join Jordy Scow on his channel because of the Wellness City Festival. I don't want to, you know, I want, I want to make sure I'm there for, for the whole duration of his live stream. So since I won't be there for the whole duration of his live stream, I figured... Well, might as well take. So I've already been on there with him for the first four, for the first uh, five days of the week of the Leak Wong Marathon. He's been doing. I'm really proud of him. What, what that young man is able to accomplish, and uh, he, as my support, but I will be joining him on Collision tonight. So, so, uh, so look for me there. If I'm going to be a little late, I'm going to warn him ahead of time because there's a big wrestling event tonight at six o'clock, dudes. I if if all my local local buddies out there, you don't want to miss it. So I'm telling you right now, New England Ring Gladiators, I'm going to give you guys a shout out because you guys deserve it, man. You guys don't put on a good show. So so that's the big thing. So right now, let's talk about AEW Rampage. What happened last night? The hundredth episode of the show, mind you. So hundred episodes of Rampage. Congratulations to AEW Rampage on that endeavor. Kicked off with a trio's matchup. The Elite, that would be the Young Bucks and Hangman Adam Page going against the Dark Order, Evo Uno, Alex Reynolds, and my favorite member of the group, Johnny Hungy, the Meat Man. He's always full of energy. John Silver himself. He's always full of energy. Always like, always, always this funny guy, you know. And that's why He's like the fun, the funny man of, of the group, and that's why I like about uh, John Silver. Well, it was, a, it was a heck of a matchup until... Uh, Kanosuke Takeshita and Claudio Castagnoli got involved during the matchup, costing him the match. Uh, uh, costing the dark, uh, costing the elite the match, giving Dark Order the victory. You know, so uh, I, I, if I were the Dark Order, I'd be sending the Blackpool Combat Club some Christmas cards in about five months, if you know what I mean. Well, QTV with QT Marshall, Aaron Solo, and the lovely, gorgeous, curvaceous, voluptuous. Most beautiful woman in Australia, besides Tony Storm, we're talking about Miss Harley Cameron. By the way, Harley Cameron really puts the QT in QTV, not QT Fire Marshal Bill or QT Marshal. Uh, and they were talking about, you know, w you know what they have planned for the acclaim. Let's say Harley's got some ideas. Then they had this video of Johnny TV kicking a can uh, from from a distance into a uh, um, into a basket uh, into a waste basket. Go figure, right? You know, it's just giant TV. Uh, the black, um, the blind eliminator, core fight, all just one of the matches. Matt Hardy and Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Matt Hardy and Jeff Jarrett go up against Daniel Garcia and Sammy Guevara, the Jericho Appreciation Society, of those two together. But uh, this was a heck of a matchup. Uh, but because of the, uh, you know, you think that Hardy and Jarrett, because Sammy Guevara's got his. Uh, you know, got his reservations because now he's going to be a dad, and that's going to be very important. And he wants to set a good example for the, li the little one that he's going to bring into the world. And I think that's what's the moral fiber of him struggling. And even though uh, him and Garcia did win the matchup, he probably didn't like how Garcia won it. But that's and he said, "Well, we picked the victory, and we got a victory, we got a victory." So it'll be very interesting to see uh, how Guevara's attitude is going to change and all this. And Team Jarrett decided to attack Jeff Hardy after the matchup. But then brother Zay, Isaiah Cassidy, got get involved. And then Ethan Page about had enough of... And I think um, that feud with MJF, and that fight with MJF last week, and the fact that Matt Hardy wants to change him really didn't help him out. So Ethan Page says he go aside. 
And another lovely, you know, why is my why is this rampage one of my favorites? Because for two of my favorite ladies, you got Carly Cameron, who's one of them, and another young lady, Hikaru Shida, uh, took on Marina Shafir, and Shida did win the matchup. I think she, um, Shafir's head is not in the game. Probably she probably watched what happened at Money in the Bank, and because she knows, you know, like I said, her, uh, Shayna, Jessamyn Duke, and Ronda Rousey were all friends at one point. I'm sure she, uh, Marina Shafir's got that on her mind. And then Renee Paquette interviewed Chris Stantliner how she's defending the titles, uh, TBS title six times. I think she's looking for more challengers. And who knows, Hikaru Shida uh, could be one of the uh, potential challengers, maybe? Hmm. We don't know for sure. So, uh, main event of the night. Uh, Matt Seidel and Trent, and Trent Beretta took on the... The de- most dev- probably the most one of the most devastating teams. I think were the heavy favorites. I don't mean uh, no pun intended. Uh, Big Bill, formerly known as Big Cass, and Brian Cage. I say this, you know, forget Parker Boudreaux and Trench. Trench got released by AEW, by the way. Add Big Bill to your mogul embassy. Forget Parker Boudreaux. You know, you want to add part- keep Parker Boudreaux. Bu- Keep Parker Boudreaux on with, uh, on. That's why you team up with Big Bill. You get your own. You get your tag team kind of tag team titles. You get six man tag team titles. Heck of a matchup in the quarterfinal. And uh, Brian Cage and Big Bill ended up picking up the victory over the team of Matt Sydal and Trent Beretta in a very, very devastation, devastatingly devastating match. I tell you what, you're talking about a devastation of tag teams. That would be it right there. I mean, unbelievable, right? So, so bearing that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that will be it for episode 698 of the show right now. As you know, um, as you know, I'm doing these episodes now. Get them out of the way so I won't be behind when I go to the Whale City Festival. I'm trying to get laundry done as well, which is something that um, is needed. Uh, I'm so I just want to get everything out of the way so I will not be behind when I come back. I've already bought myself some supper. Um, keeping it in the fridge right now until I get home because a lot of stuff. I've already ate lunch, so I'm trying to avoid spending a lot of money at the festival. That's the uh, main reason why I'm trying to do. It. And because now the carnival doesn't appeal me to me that much anymore, and um, so uh, I gotta look through the uh, my WWE magazines, which one I don't have and. Hopefully, I will get the ones I can get. So, that's it. That's all the time we have on this show. Um, so, uh, that's all That's all there is to it. Uh, so, uh, episode 699 will take place at the Whale Sea Festival. I will, uh, like I said, divvy up in three parts. When I enter the festival, inside the festival, and when I leave the festival. That's the, the way I do things. There will be Roadside Shenanigans, episode number three. That's right, episode number three of that. But it will be episode 699 overall. And then tonight, I'll do Collision after Collision is over. Then, it will be 700 episodes I have reached. By the end of this day, by the end of this day, I'll be reaching 700 episodes. That's a big deal. Very, very big deal. And by the way, because of my weekend uh, uh, jaunt at the Wellesley Festival, I will not be playing any Shenanigan Arcade. Now, it's... It's fun playing video games, but sometimes you get to get out of the house once in a while, you know what I mean? So, I will post, but I'm, but I'm not canceling it, I'm postponing it. Because, with the Wave 5, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Wave 5 DLC coming out this Wednesday. Once it comes out, once I get it, I am going to have the Shenanigan Arcade pull it. Now, when I, when I decide to drop a Saturday from the Shenanigan um, Saturday uh, Super Star Arcade or Shenanigan Arcade is because of this reason. Is uh, one and this is and this is one of the reasons why. Because that way, if I if I don't play it any time during the weekend, I try to play. You know, I try to limit my video game playing just to the weekend. You know, just for fun because that way I can keep my everything else open. But because of the Way Five coming out, and I don't think I have anything to do on Wednesday except for watch Dynamite at eight. But at that time. But I can do it in the afternoon, so that's what's going to be the main key here in, the, in, in the afternoon. So that will be that's what that's what that will be my Shenanigan Arcade for, for the, for the week. So then 
I'm gonna play both. I'm gonna play both cups. It's the feather cup and the cherry cup. So I'm looking forward to that. So until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet both of raving dingleberries telepictures and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.